This carefully crafted class aims at leg flexibility, providing a deep stretch to the quadricep muscles, the calf muscles and the hamstrings. Kia ora everyone and welcome to Asana with Jess. Today we will start by moving onto all fours, ensuring our hands are shoulder width apart and knees hip width apart. Slowly move your hands forward, bringing your forehead or chin to the mat, coming into extended puppy dog pose. Make sure your hips and knees are parallel. Breathing deeply into this pose. Warming up the body and creating some flexibility in the spine. Now anchor the elbows on the mat and push the hips through into a cobra position. Coming onto your hands and pushing the hips to the sky, coming into our very first downward facing dog. Pedal the feet out if you need. Take some time in your first downward dog, warming up the body. Right foot into the sky, three-legged dog. Now bend at the knee and bring that knee into the chest, placing it between your hands in front of you. Following with the left leg coming into a forward fold at the top of your mat. Take a moment here to really stretch the hamstrings and focus on your breathing. This pose also helps to decompress the spine. Taking a big inhale through the nose and coming up to our halfway lift and release. Bend at the knees, bring the arms into the sky, palms together and coming to heart centre. Inhale, hands to the sky, exhale, bend at the hips, inhale, halfway lift and release, exhaling. Step one foot back, low lunge, followed by the other foot and taking a chaturanga. Coming up into our upward facing dog. Turning the feet, hips to the sky for downward dog. Breathing deeply to reset. This time lift the left leg into the sky for three legged dog. Bending at the knee, pulling it into the chest and placing it between your hands. Following by the other foot, coming into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen and exhaling. Bend the knees, hands to the sky, bringing the palms together at heart centre. Taking a big inhale and bending at the hips on the exhale, extend into halfway lift and drop. Step back, low lunge, followed by the other foot and coming into a chaturanga, either on your knees or your toes. Exhaling, upward facing dog. Untuck the toes, hips to the sky, downward dog. Continue to pedal the feet if you need. Lift the right leg into the sky, three-legged dog, and bend at the knee, opening up in the hip joint. Now swoop the knee down in between your hands, placing your foot on the ground. Keeping that knee bent, bringing the arms into the sky for our crescent lunge. Feel the heat building in that bent leg, embrace it and sink deeper into the pose. Mm -hmm. 
straighten that front leg, bringing the arms to your sides. Bend down towards your knee, keeping that front leg straight. Keep the back heel off the ground slightly. Pyramid pose. Use your fingertips to balance you and help push away your shoulders from your ears. Bend that front leg once more, coming back into our crescent lunge. Push off the back foot, coming up to the top of our mats. Bend at the hips and come into a deep forward fold, exhaling on your way down. Inhale, rising up to a halfway lift, and exhale, dropping. Placing the hands on the ground, stepping back, low lunge, followed by the other foot and taking a chaturanga, either on your knees or on your toes. Pushing up into our upward facing dog. Tuck the toes under, hips to the sky for our downward dog. Lift the left foot into the sky this time, three-legged dog, bending at the knee, opening up in the hip area. Swoop that knee down towards the chest, bringing it through the hands, placing the foot down, keeping that leg bent, and coming up into our crescent lunge. Relax the shoulders away from the ears, and make sure that your knee is parallel to your ankle. Maintain the strength in your arms by spreading the fingers apart. Keeping the back heel off the ground, straighten the front leg, hinge at the hips, bending towards it, using your fingertips to stabilize you. Try not to slump and arch your back too much, keep it as straight as possible. You can use yoga blocks to help support you in this pose by placing them underneath your hands to elevate you. Bend that front leg once more, coming back up into our crescent lunge. Push off the back foot, coming to the top of your mat, and take a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen, and release. Bend the knees, swoop the hands to the sky and bring them to heart center. Inhale, reset, exhale, reach the hands to the sky, bend at the hips and take a vinyasa. Reach the right foot into the sky, then swoop the knee towards the chest, placing your foot just between your hands. Lower your back knee to the mat. Lay your front foot on its side and push that knee out with your hand. This pose is a lovely hip opener called Lizard Pose. stretch you can come down to your elbows. Keeping the back knee on the ground we're going to straighten the front leg, flexing the toes. Gently lean towards that leg. This is our half split pose. hips are square. Don't forget to focus on your breathing.
When you're ready, bending your front leg, coming out of this pose back into a downward dog. Now lift your left leg for three-legged dog. Bend at the knee, placing your foot between your hands, coming into a low lunge. Drop the back knee and place your front foot on its side. Gently push the left knee out with your left hand. Once again, to deepen this pose, you can come to your elbows if your body allows. Embrace the stretch in the hip, breathe into this pose. When you're ready, straighten the front leg, flexing the toes, leaning back and keeping your hips square for our half split. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Gently come out of this pose by bending your front leg and coming back into a downward dog. Now flow through a chaturanga to reset. Raise the right leg into the air, three-legged dog. Bend at the knee, putting the foot between the hands. Turn the back foot on a 180 degree angle. Tensing the core, coming up with your arms out wide for our warrior two. Check that your arms are level. Briefly flip your hands so that your palms are facing upwards. This helps to release tension in the shoulders. Make sure that your knee is in line with your ankle and your front foot is straight with your back foot facing forward. Lean back bringing your front arm over your head and your back arm down your leg for reverse warrior. Now bend the other way bringing right arm to right knee and bringing the left arm over the head. Now move back into a reverse warrior. And moving back into extended side angle pose, bringing that arm to the mat this time if you can reach. And make your way back into reverse warrior one more time. And extended side angle once more. Tense the core and come back up into our warrior two. Straighten that front leg and tip like a teapot towards it, bringing your other arm directly up in the sky. Triangle pose. Engage the abdominals and come up. Turn both feet in, slightly pigeon-toed, and take a wide-legged forward fold. Grab the ankles with your hands and gently try and move the torso closer to the legs. Move your hands towards your left foot and turn that left foot so that it faces lengthways down your mat. Keep your back foot where it is. Come up into warrior two on the other side. Flip the palms to release shoulder tension. back 
bringing the left arm over the head, reverse warrior. And turn the other way, bringing left arm to left knee and right arm over the head. Inhale, on the exhale, return to reverse warrior. And back to extended side angle, bringing your hand to the mat this time. Now move back into reverse warrior for the last time. And extended side angle once more. Engage the core and pull yourself back up into warrior two. Straighten that front leg, tip towards it into our triangle pose, looking up at the hand in the sky. yourself back up, turn the toes slightly in and take a wide-legged forward fold to reset. Shuffle the hands towards the right foot, bend that right knee, push off the back leg coming into a forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen and release. Step back, low lunge and take a chaturanga. Untuck the toes, push the hips to the sky for downward dog. Come onto your knees and move to the top of your mat. Pushing the calves away from the body so that you can be in a nice upright seated position. Place the hands flat on your knees. A lovely strong hero pose. If you can, make your way onto your elbows. Direct your gaze slightly upwards. If you want to deepen this pose, you can make your way onto your back and bring your arms over your head, holding onto each elbow. Reclined hero pose. Take a moment here to focus on your breathing. Inhale through the nose, hold it for three seconds, and exhale through the mouth. Slow your breathing, calm the mind, and be present. Appreciate your body, and thank it for taking you through this yoga practice. Ready? Open your eyes, bring some energy back to your body, and slowly make your way up.
shuffle back a little bit on your mat so that you are in the center. Take your knees as wide as the mat, toes together and stretch your arms forward for a child's pose. This pose helps to balance out the reclined hero pose. When you are ready, gently come out of this pose and make your way into a seated position on your mat. Place one hand on your heart and one on your stomach. Feel the gentle rises and falls of the puku with the diaphragmatic breathing. Feel your heart beating nice and strong. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for coming and practicing yoga with me today. Sending you love and light. Namaste.